Style fixes just got easier. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 fashion hacks every girl should know. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at DIY ideas to wear, repair, or organize your clothes and accessories. Number 10. Prevent runs with hairspray. Runs and tights can make or break your outfit. And unfortunately, unless you're going for that punk rock look, most of the time it's the latter. In a jam, instead of running to the nearest department store and buying a new pair, you can always put a little clear nail polish to keep the run from getting bigger. To prevent runs in the first place though, all you need is a bit of hairspray. You don't have to spray your tights all over, just in places they're prone to tearing. That way, you'll stop runs in their tracks. And as you can see, I'm stretching the tights and they're no longer running because the hairspray is holding all the fibers in place. Number 9. Defuzz your sweater with a razor. Got some fuzz on your favorite sweater? It's time to take out your razor. It's inevitable that after a while, your favorite sweater is going to start showing signs of the fact that it's your favorite sweater in the form of lint or pilling. Luckily, your trusty razor is here to help. Gently shave upwards and it will pick the lint right up. Once you're done shaving your sweater, you can simply use a lint roller or tape to pick up the crumbs and spare fluff. But make sure you're gentle. Just like when you're using a razor on skin, that blade could cause small cuts. As long as you're careful though, the razor acts as a great defuzzer. Now you're ready for sweater weather. Number eight, use your hangers to track your clothes. This hack should be mandatory for shopaholics everywhere. How often do you buy new clothes? only to get home and find that there's no room in the closet. Hmm. Well, now I understand the divorce. To refresh your wardrobe, you first need to track what you actually wear. How? By turning around the hanger of clothing you've worn when you put it away. Keep up this habit for a few months or better yet, a full year. By then, you'll get a pretty good idea of your favorite threads and the ones that you've gotten over. For that second category of clothing, it's time to say goodbye and send them off to a new home where they'll get the attention they deserve. Like this? When and where were you planning to wear this? Don't do that. Don't mock the clothes. Number 7. Secure buttons with clear nail polish. Clear nail polish to the rescue again. Really, between buttons and tights, you can't afford to leave the house without some. All buttons become loose at some point. While the best course of action is a needle and thread, clear nail polish makes for a great substitute. Button up as normal, and then apply clear nail polish on top of the threads. As the nail polish dries up, the thread will be secured, ensuring that the offending buttons stay in place. A single swipe will go a long way, but you should still make sure to do a proper repair at your earliest convenience. Number 6. Keep your fly closed with a keyring. Well, I have to say, this seems capricious and arbitrary. Your fly is open. <laughs> Despite your best efforts, sometimes that fly just won't stay put. Thankfully, there's a simple and effective solution in the form of an item you likely already have lying around in a junk drawer, a key ring. Attach it to the zipper and then put the key ring over the button of your pants. Button up and your fly is as good as new. If you don't have a key ring on hand, you can also use a rubber band or a large safety pin. In no time, hearing the phrase, your flies open, will be a distant memory. Number 5. Soften your t-shirts with salt water. There's nothing like the feel of a soft vintage t-shirt. Finding that perfect vintage top can be a challenge though, and they rarely come cheap. Thankfully, you can produce a similar effect at home. To start, mix 4 cups of water with half a cup of salt and put it in a container big enough to fit your top. For the next 3 days, you'll essentially brine your t-shirt in salt water. Once that's done, wash the t-shirt as you would normally. The end result? A perfectly soft t-shirt that looks vintage, but costs a fraction of the price. Number 4. Remove sweat stains with lemon juice. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade and a quick fix for your white shirts. Unsightly sweat stains are among the most stubborn stains to get rid of, but they're no match for the natural power of lemon juice. Fill up a spray bottle with the juice and start spraying it anywhere your shirts are prone to staining, or simply squeeze the juice directly onto the shirt. Wash as you normally would, and voila, the stains will come right off. For a more permanent solution, you might want to switch to an aluminum-free deodorant. And for a homemade alternative, lemon juice is an easy fix. Number 3. 
Unjam zippers with Vaseline. Ow! You're trying to zip up your purse or jacket when suddenly the zipper gets stuck. Now what? Time to use that wonderful Cure-All Petroleum Jelly. That's right, the very same jelly used to treat chapped lips can also solve your zipper problem. Apply a tiny amount of Vaseline to lubricate the zipper, and it'll likely work like new. If you don't have Vaseline on hand, you can also use olive oil, a bar of soap, or a graphite pencil to help get it moving. Just remember not to put too much though, a little goes a long way. Number 2. Iron Collars, Cuffs and Sleeves with a Straightener Ironing shirts can be a real chore, particularly those tricky collars, cuffs and sleeves. It doesn't have to be though. With your trusty hair straightener, it can be a downright breeze. The straightener's small size means you can iron wrinkly collars, cuffs, and sleeves in a pinch. All you need to do is heat up the straightener, not too hot, mind you, and clamp down on the fabric for a few seconds. This hack is especially practical for your morning routine, since you only need one tool for your tops and your hair. Talk about a time saver. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. same technique to attach the top of your completed grid to the bottom of your hanger. And that's all folks, you've got yourself the perfect accessories organizer in less than an hour and for under $10. Now for any denim items, turn them inside out because friction will cause denim to lose its color very quickly. Number 1. Tuck and fold your jeans. What to wear? Wider leg jeans or your favorite boots? With this fashion hack, you can rock both. Skinny jeans will fit into boots with ease but flares and boot cut jeans tend to bunch up. Not the best look, or the most comfortable. To fix this, just tuck and fold the ends so that they can fit into your boots. Then put on a pair of calf or knee-high socks to keep everything in place. Follow our top tip, and you'll be walking around looking cute and feeling comfy. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.